I know what you are. I know what you are. Say it. Say it. Out loud. Out loud. Vampire. <laughs> oh my god, I love Twilight, guys. I am obsessed with Twilight. Clearly, clearly, Edward, Team Edward, 100% of the way. I still have t-shirts, I have blankets, I have watched all the movies so many times. In the movie theater, when they first came out, I had them on Blu-ray. Read all the movie books. I read all the books when I was in high school. I think I started reading the books maybe when I was like 14, 13 maybe, 13, 14. Fell in love with it ever since the first movie came out and I am so excited for this whole collection. I got the new ColourPop X Twilight collection. We're gonna go ahead and try everything on my face give you my honest opinion from a true true twilight hard and and give you a little story time because i was actually invited to the twilight x color pop party in uh, santa monica that i sadly didn't go because you know that's a long story yeah let me give you all of my honest thoughts and opinion about this collection um and i am super super excited specifically for the palette and i think i was one of the very few people that actually do love the color story on this palette because i do think it's true to the film but if you want to hear all my thoughts and opinions about this collection with twilight x color pop then tune on in Hey guys, my name is Sally. If you haven't been here, welcome. We love everyone. So let's go ahead and get straight into this collection because I know that Edward and everyone else wants to see what we did. So let's go ahead and zoom on in and let me show you all the products. The first couple things that we have are the lip oils. We got Bells, which is a red one. This one has her truck on it. This packaging is so cool. I think they put the Pacific Northwest perfectly on these unicartons. I just think they're so beautiful of what they did for the collection. Let's go ahead and swatch everything. We'll get into the palette last. So this is Bell's. This is supposed to be off of Bella. It is a deep red. It is their Lux Lip Oil. I believe these retail for $10 or $11. These are going to be sheer pigment with just that little red right there. That is Bell's. Let's put it on the lips. Let's actually see how this looks. This is just like my natural lip color. I don't think it actually did anything to enhance the lip color. It just looks a little more red, but other than that, it's just my natural lip color. Am I disappointed with this lip color? Yes. Yes, I am. Because when ColourPop first previewed this collection, this was the first teaser and they didn't actually announce who or what the collection was. All they put was this beautiful red ripping lip that looked like blood. I wish this was more of those blotted lips or liquid lipstick because I think it would have been more epic for that. I do think that going the lip, going the lip oil route, I mean, it's 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 trendy i get it it's very trendy but i don't think it's true to the film when you see it true to the film you don't really see like dewy skin you see matte skin you don't really see lip oils you do see a lot of like what was back in 2008 when it was popular it was a lot of like you know liquid lipsticks so i feel like they kind of threw the ball with that i also feel like they kind of threw the ball with the packaging as well because this unicarton is beautiful the unicarton is beautiful but i don't feel like it matches the lip oil like i feel like they only have twilight on here but why didn't they put anything on the cap i've seen so many collections with like stuff on the cap and be more engraved i'm a little disappointed on the lip oils and the color choices let's go to the next one and let me actually show you all of them this is team jacob this is the Lux oil team jacob it does have the woof on it of course it has the forest of forks on here too and this is team jacob team jacob is supposed to be a black with dark blue sparkles on it and of course it does say twilight this one is more pigmented so this one is a lot more pigmented i kind of like this one actually that is how it looks i will say while i'm trying to take this off the looks lip oils do look they feel they do feel really good like really really good but i do wish we had liquid lipsticks instead because i don't feel like lip oils are the vibe of twilight in my opinion Ooh, wait, I like this black. I know that this black is not gonna look good. Oh, it kind of look makes me look dead in a way. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. What do you guys think of this black one? Hold on. 
You know what? I feel like, like I need a lip liner. It makes me look dead because I don't have a lip liner. I feel like with a brown lip liner or a black lip liner, it would be, even like a dark red lip liner with this would look really good. I know that this is not going to look really good on fair skin. I have more light medium skin tone. This on deeper skin would look so beautiful. It does have that iridescent glow. It's a little patchy though because on here it is black. Down here it's more sheer. I'll probably rub it together. What do you guys think? Hmm. This fits more the tone of my shirt. It's kind of like gooping up right there. You see it? Do you think with the lip liner, it would look better? I don't hate this one. I think I like this one better than Belle's. I think the darker, this darker black one suits me a little bit better with my skin tone. Let's try Team Edward because I'm really excited about that one. It's like a deep navy blue color. Okay, so this is Team Edward. It is this deep blue navy color. This kind of looks like you have frostbite in a way. It's blue color. That one is Edward. It is a blue color. That is what all three lip oils look like. To me, it kind of looks like Jacob on my skin tone because I do feel like my lips are a little darker than like kind of like a like a, I don't want to say like a rose color because they're not really red, but they are more on the brown side of my lips. That is Team Edward on me. I think I like this one better than Jacob because I feel like Jacob was a little patchy with the color. I kind of wish I was a little more blue because I can't really tell the blue on my skin tone kind of a little bit. Let's go ahead and dive into, actually I thought I was, I was going to save the palette for last, but I kind of want to dive into the palette and then show you guys everything else because I do want to have a look on. Three liquid liners, we got two highlighters, one is a purple one, one is skin of a dime, uh, skin of a killer, <laughs> I wish it was skin of a killer, this is vampire skin which is a silver thing, I don't think they could have done skin of a killer, I know that a lot of people were kind of like, oh this was your chance to do, this is skin of a killer Bella, this is the skin of a killer Bella, but hear me out, hear me out, when you work with a licensing deal like big movies, like Summit Entertainment, let's say, who did produce Twilight, you have to get the okay from them to use like their wording, uh, their, you say their trademarks, what they're saying in the books, what they're saying in the movies, like they have to go through all these contracts and approve everything. So I'm pretty sure if these diehard fans are the ones that created this collection, which it, it actually kind of does seem to fit the theme of the first movie specifically, Twilight, very, very well, because I have a feeling that this collection is to the first movie. When the collaborators of this manager or whoever she was, she was the main person to make this collection. It was her conception. She actually did say that it was to have this film, the first film of Twilight, represented by the blue tint throughout the movie. And I do think that this palette, this collection, does actually fit specifically the movie of Twilight, the first one, not the rest of them. So I know a lot of people were upset that there wasn't a lot of reds in here or browns in here and it was it was mostly the blue toned. If you actually watch the first movie, there really isn't any blood until the very end of the movie and it's like minimal, like a small section. The whole movie does have to reflect over that blue tone, over the love of Bella and Edward and that scene specifically and where we're in the meadow and the most famous quote is the line fell in love with the lamb. The most famous quote in the book, the most famous quote in the movie, it's actually not skin of a killer and I think skin of a killer is more of a meme than everything. In my personal opinion, I think that it is the lion fell in love with the lamb. If you actually do pay attention to the movie, it ties into a lot with the book of the representation of the book of how this beautiful girl fell in love with the lion, right? So that's basically what the palette is. The lion fell in love with the lamb. It's the scene of the meadow. It's the most, in my opinion, it's one of the most important scenes of the book and the movie because it's just like a representation of what love can be and how it is and I'm, I might be thinking more into this than it is but I love Twilight guys like like my dog Bella is named Bella because of Bella in Twilight I was obsessed with it I have like a blanket that I have for her specifically of Edward because it's Edward and Bella like I you guys don't know how obsessed I am I am obsessed and I actually do think that this palette and color story fits this scene where they're in the middle and they fall in love with each other perfectly 
perfectly, perfectly, perfectly. And I do think that the highlighters do complement it. I also think that Summit Entertainment didn't give them the rights to put Skin of a Killer for the highlighters and that's why they're called Vampire Skin instead. So I really hope that not a lot of you guys are upset by it. I, I'm just glad that, I know it's a little late for the Twilight Collection, but I'm glad we have something. And I do think that this is the first rendition. I do think this is the first movie. I do think we're gonna get New Moon, we're gonna get Eclipse, we're gonna get Breaking Dawn. We're gonna get the whole shebang. I firmly believe that a collection that sold out within three minutes, by the way, it did sell out within three minutes and I actually, I got it. <laughs> within the three minutes i was there in the bathroom at 9 59 on the toilet and i was like Tch -tch 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 -tch. bye 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 and i clocked out the thing is that you cannot look at other products you already have to be signed into your color pop account you have to have your credit card information already into your account just so when the site loads you have to keep refreshing at 9 59 keep refreshing keep refreshing keep refreshing once it's there add to cart check out that's all you gotta do. That's how you're gonna get through the lines and the peoples. Like I was saying, um, there's a lot of legal things that goes through making collections. When you have a trademark, you have to go through the trademark of the entertainment company. And I don't think it was wise, in my opinion, if they would have put Skin of a Killer on a highlighter. I just, I'm glad it's vampire skin. In my opinion, I think, it's okay. I actually do like that it says vampire skin because it represents more of who they are because I just, yeah. Okay, I'm going to leave it there and I'm thinking too much of it, but let's go into this palette because this palette is beautiful. It's beautiful. I actually really do like it. I do think they could have gone a little bit deeper. Like I feel like we are missing a black because this is not really a black. It's like a dark navy blue with some silver sparkles. This one, Deep Forest Green, it is there, but I feel like they're missing a black. Like, let me show you what I mean. This is Fantasy Cosmetica, the Rogue palette, by the way. This is a beautiful palette. I feel like they could have had these four colors right there in the palette, and it would have made more sense to have, like, this lighter color, this lighter blue, this very, very dark matte black, this forest green, this dark green, and then these two shimmers in there. And I feel like with this section, this to me is... A, doesn't it feel like Twilight right there? I feel like they were missing these colors in there. But other than that, I do think this is a really good mid-tone palette. They do have some sparkles. They do have some duo chromes as well with Lion Lamb. That's this green shade right here. I don't know if you can tell. It goes from like a dark black to a green. Oh, it's like a dark purple. It goes from a dark purple to a green. And then they have this one, which is Edward. Ooh, this one's pretty. This one is like a silver. This one's a silver like to a purple. So they do have some really fun colors in here. And then, of course, Lion fell in, so the Lion fell in love with the Lamb. And then the Forks background. I do think that is so cool. And then the Unicarton itself. That's awesome. I know you have seen this everywhere, so that's why I'm not really going into depth into it. They're really pretty. Like, you can't, like, ColourPop has really, really good formulas. I can say ColourPop has some amazing, amazing formulas. Yeah, let's go ahead and put these into my eye. Then I'll show you the eyeliners, the highlighters, and then we'll end with the body oil. I'm thinking of starting with Unconditionally as a transition shade. It is one of the lighter ones. Kind of like a gray, blue kind of color. I love that they have this but I, I still wish it had a mirror. I kind of wish it had a mirror, to be honest, because then I have to go back and forth. Okay, so I'm just going with this Unconditionally shade, just so I can go ahead and do a quick transition. This is gonna be a little bit lighter, so if I do put any colors, dark colors on it, I think it's gonna go nicely and not too light smoke this out so much. I do want a smoky, I do wanna try that green color, and I also wanna try the Edward. So I'm thinking of doing the Edward color here, green one right here, deepen it up with some green and blue tones on the end. And I think it'd be a really nice look specifically to go with my Edward shirt I think that'd be really cool <laughs> I feel like this video is very chaotic but this is how my mind works so I'm sorry guys I'm um, if it's not so professional it's just who I am this is me so if you guys do like these types of vibes and my honest opinions I will always be honest on this channel this color is a lot lighter than it looks in the pan it does look light but it looks more on the blue toned and I feel like it's more like kind of like a gray color which I'm not mad this kind of reminds me of one of the Edward shirts that he would wear a lot this color i do think that a true twilight fan to the first movie and i still think honestly i know the first movie is very cheesy but i really like the first i actually really like new moon a lot too but the first movie just does something to me i think it's because I don't know, I was probably like 14 years old when I saw it and it's just, when I first saw it in the movie theater, it just, it did something to me that like changed my life and my whole teenager was, 
teenage years was revolved around Twilight. Like I had posters, I had beddings, I had like Edward stuff all over. I was just in love with Twilight so much. The storyline, the books, the movie, everything. But so far I like this. I didn't think you can make really light colors with this palette because this palette looks so dark. But I really like these colors so far. You know what? I think I might go more towards the blue. I don't know if I'm going to use that green color yet. Let me go with this color. This one right here, which is irrevocably. There's a lot of kick up in the pan, which I don't know if I like that. I'm going to dust it off because my makeup is set. Oh, that's really pretty. I can say that ColourPop formula does have beautiful, beautiful blendness. How do you say blendiness to it? I don't think that's a word. It blends really nicely. Um, it doesn't have a lot of effort. I did put my Dominic Cosmetics Eye Base Primer on my lids. And then I just set it with like a little bit of powder over it. Just so it can get ready for this video. And I did leave it on for a while. So it's a little bit tacky. But I do think that this blending formula is really nice. And I actually really do like that color. I think I'm gonna do a blue look. I know a lot of people online have been using these green ones, so I'm pretty sure you've already seen that already. If you want me, to, you know what I'm, I might do? I might do another video using this, but like doing three looks with this palette if I have time. If you are interested in that, let me know, and I will be more than happy to do that for this collection. Um, sorry, I'm like blending and I'm not even showing you. <laughs> Oh, it's not even zoned in. We'll be more than happy with this action to do that with you. Let's talk a little bit about this palette and then I'll tell you a little bit about the story time of why I couldn't go into the premiere of Twilight X, which I was really sad and honestly really sad that I couldn't go. This palette is a 15 shade palette. It has multi chromes, shimmers, mattes, duochromes. It honestly has a little bit of everything. It is more of a mid tone palette. It goes from a dark blue, very, very dark, almost gray like blue to a very very light blue um gray like blue as well with a lot of sparkly shades in it a lot of the shades are named after the movie itself movie quotes like edward unconditionally prom night lion and the lamb the colon say it out loud say it bella say it out loud a 17 where he where she goes how old have you been 17 for how long a long time how old are you 17 how long have you been 17? A while. <laughs> Impossibly fast, irresistible, irrevocably, forever young, ice cold. When she touches his hand in the car, <gasps> it's ice cold. Eyeshadow Twilight Palette Collection is $24, honestly. That's, that's not bad price. I kind of want to do this color right here because it's calling my name. It's very pretty. Look at that color. This is the Collins Deep Navy Blue. That does remind me a lot of the film. I kind of want to put it on my outer corner. What do you guys think of the shadow so far? I feel like I need to blend it out a little bit better on this side, but I will do that right now. There is so much fallout with this. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. I'm usually not used to this much fallout with ColourPop eyeshadow. It's not as pressed into the pan, so it's a little bit looser. I think it's a little patchy right here. Honestly, right there, I don't think it's eyeshadow. I think it's me. Right there, my primer, my base primer for my eye that far back. So I think that's what it might be. I don't think this is the eyeshadow. I think this is a my fault because on over here, I did bring it out a little bit more and I forgot to bring it out on that side. These are a lot deeper than I thought they were going to be. They look very light in the pan, but I do trust in ColourPop's formula because ColourPop's, their shadows usually tend to be a lot darker in the pan than in person. Okay, so let's do the story time. So I was supposed to go to the Santa Monica premiere. So what had happened was that ColourPop actually put out this survey on their Instagram. If you are interested in attending a ColourPop X Twilight premiere party where they were going to show the movie. So I was like, okay, cool. I mean, I didn't think I was going to get picked because usually what they do is they look for the influencers for all... <sighs> this one doesn't have a mirror. I keep going back to this. I swear it needs a mirror. I was like, well, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and fill out the form because... I'm just going to do it. And they said that it was going to be for Thursday, but I forgot if it was Thursday or Friday for that week. And I was like, okay, whatever. I like care, but I don't care if I go to the premiere. That would, I mean, it would be cool to go see a movie with ColourPop, receive merch, receive the whole collection beforehand. Everyone does on launch day and to see Twilight, like out of everything, out of every makeup collection. First of all, my first video here on the YouTube on my channel was um, actually reviewing the, the Baby Yoda palette. I feel like it's very special to me 
dear my heart is color pop because it it's why I wanted to create a channel is because I wanted to show you guys like the truth the honesty the good and the bad of makeup like I love it so much and you know it kind of grew with ColourPop so like for ColourPop to say hey you've been chosen to go to this premiere and just like I was in shock I was actually in one of my meetings for work and <laughs> I was in my headphones and I was trying to listen to what everyone was telling me and I was just in shock I didn't even know what to say I was like holy crap I just got invited to go to this premiere but it was the next day and I had a couple new hires at work that I had to train which is not their fault because I want to train them I love them they're nice they're awesome actually and it was this conflict because it was all the way in Santa Monica I live towards the like outskirts of LA like Pomona, Chino Hills, Chino area and it was just so far for those of you who don't know who don't live in Southern California. In traffic it can be up, up to two to three hours okay from here to LA because LA traffic is ridiculous especially if we live on the outskirts there's so many freeways that you have to get to so I realistically had to leave here at like four which means I had to miss half a day of work and I was still training them and I was so backed up that week on work as it was and I couldn't go because I didn't feel safe because you said they couldn't bring a plus one but they ended up bringing a plus one because not a lot of people showed up to the premiere because they literally told us the day before that you got accepted I didn't think I was going to get accepted in the first place it was just more like oh they have my email they have my information if they want to work with me in the future they can I know I'm not big but if they do want to work with me they can so it wasn't like I, I wasn't expecting to go I'm going to go with immortal this silver and I got the email and I was like holy crap like I called so many people that day I was like what do I do should I go should I not go like this is a dream to go but then if I go like I'm gonna have to miss work for half a day and then I'm gonna have to miss work for the day after because the event wasn't supposed to end until like 10 maybe 11 and then back home I wouldn't get home probably till like 1 and then I wouldn't sleep and then I would have to wake up really early to work and then I just didn't feel safe I mean I don't even feel safe like going to Target by myself because there's so many creeps around this area like I think just in general in California it's very creepy I just don't feel safe like me as a woman I don't feel safe by myself I wanted to go with someone or have someone drop me off and it just wasn't physically possible and then I was like what do I wear like what well, how should my makeup be I have to do my nails beforehand I have to do my hair that means that realistically I have to be home at like two to get ready to leave by four when am I gonna eat it was just too much stress I wish I would have had a week in advance notice instead of a day before because there was just too much movement like who's gonna take care of my newbies who's gonna take care of my dog who's gonna drive me over there it was too much stress for me and they only gave me a day in advance notice I feel like if they would have given me a week in advance notice I would have figured something out immediately so I didn't end up going which is really sad because I really wanted to go and I would have received the collection and I wouldn't have to pay a hundred dollars but I got it anyways which I'm so happy I got it because I cannot believe it's sold out in less than five it sold out in three minutes that to me is insane I haven't seen a makeup collection in a long time like years and years sell out that fast because it's so hyped uh, I got the new shade sorry I didn't tell you I got the Edward shade right now I just dipped into the Edward shade which is this very sparkly one that I showed you guys in the beginning just putting it in my inner corner and honestly I really like this palette a lot I didn't think I was gonna like it because I I'm not a big fan of like I do like greens on my eyes but I have so many green palettes that I wanted something different there is so much fallout though do you see that fallout like so much fallout so you just have to be very careful you might want to do makeup your eyes before your makeup because it's everywhere but like look at this color story it's like a really it's a really good cool tone smoky palette i really like it so yeah i'm sad that i didn't go but i feel like it wasn't meant to be i felt like something in my gut told me not to go and i don't regret not going i just have a feeling that something bad was gonna happen if i did win so i just followed my gut and i said you know what it's okay like if they're inviting me now for this then you know who knows what can happen in the future with other brands with color pop i'm just i'm honestly just honored that i got chosen really am this to me looks like edward this i don't know if you could see it see how it just sparkles it has so many sparkles like it's shifting on my side from pink to blue to red to green like it has so much iridescence in that sparkle and i really like this look let me go ahead and clean this up let me put on some lashes actually before we do i'm gonna show you the eyeliners because i might put on the eyeliner i'm not a big eyeliner fan but i might put on the eyeliners so let me clean this up a little bit and we'll be right back 
Okay, so I'm actually putting on one of the eyeliners that I'll talk to you about right now, but look at what's happening. It's not drying correctly, and it's cracking. And I don't think these eyeliners are very, very good quality. I'll show you the colors in a little bit. Let me try to fix this look, and I'll come back. Okay, the eyes are done. It, it literally just started raining, like it's forks out here or something. So here are the three colors of the liquid liners i will say that they do dry on pretty good like even if you rub them and rub them nothing's gonna go away if you have a thin layer but when i was trying to build up the eyeliner right here i know it doesn't go that well with the there we go with the shadow let's try to make the shadow oh, this one's pretty good this one was getting really crusty on this side and i can feel the shadow the liners on it like they're drying they're drying down very very i don't want to say it's not the best i mean i like how shiny it is i feel like the formula can improve i honestly wish these liquid liners did i even show you the unicartons these are the unicartons for the liners which it's really pretty like I really really like the unicartons and then each of the unicart um each of the actual liner does have sayings of the twilight book keep to themselves I know what you are say it out loud he's totally gorgeous obviously so I love that they put the sayings on here and I love that it says twilight on here I do like this, but I feel like the collection was a little tiny in my opinion, and they could have also added gel cream liners, and I feel like the gel cream liners, like this color, would have been perfect for this. It's what I have in my waterline. This color is outer space, and I feel like it would match perfectly. Oh, let me give you a good swatch of this one. It would have matched perfectly. It's the one on top. It's a dark navy blue with a little bit of sparkles on it. I feel like this would have matched perfectly with the collection. Like I feel like they kind of missed the mark and they could have put some gel cream liners because these gel cream liners from Colourpop they're amazing they last all day on the waterline they have so many colors and I feel like they should have gone that route versus the liquid liners and I feel like more people would have been hyped up about them because these liners they're cool I do like that it did include the red you know we have the black the red and the green they all have sparkles and shimmer to it so you could see it in the light but not the best quality I would not repurchase these I'm happy I have them but I honestly I don't think I would use them but with the highlighters this one is meadow this one is vampire skin meadow has a purple sheen to it purple undertone purple undertone i do think they match the packaging perfectly I do think they match the packaging perfectly on the outside but i do have a couple of these super shock shadows that are like green and blue and um i actually have like the haunted mansion collection and that was like a dark blue and i feel like that would have been cooler than just a black it just says twilight which we love that it says twilight they could have gone a little bit harder on the packaging this formula is so smooth i don't know if you could see it it is so smooth so silky oh this reminds me perfectly of all the flowers in the meadow that bella and edward are sitting on and they're pondering themselves they're basically falling in love in the meadow that color right there that is the color of those flowers i think this is a beautiful color that is a beautiful beautiful color cool i think i'm gonna put this on my nose i think this would be really pretty on my nose yep this has this iridescent pink that I like to it that goes perfectly with my skin tone because I do have a pinky skin tone. I'm more of a cool, natural skin tone color, but I feel like pinks and purples really do complement my skin tone very, very well. What do you think? Now let's go into Vampire Skin. Vampire Skin is a gray toned highlighter does have a lot of intense sparkles i do see a little bit of the purple shimmer this is supposed to be his skin oh my do you see how intense that is that is insane look at that they are so creamy like almost feel like they are a cream like i feel like they're a true cream why am i so orange hello you can tell right away which one's more intense and it's the vampire skin that's insane holy moly compared to the other one it's a lot more natural that one is vibrant and in your face that is insane it does have a gray undertone so i hope it's not gray on my skin but you know what it stick to true to the movie because edward does have a gray undertone to his skin perfectly and i do think it matches the movie perfectly so let's see how this is going to look 
I'm pressing it more with my finger because I don't want a, sh a very, very super, I mean, I, I do want it brightening. That is so pretty. I see some blues and purples on my skin tone. Oh, that's insane. That does look like a skin of a vampire. It has so many glitters to it. It's honestly beautiful. I'm gonna use a little brush just to see if it intensifies or if it looks more natural like with the finger. Does it look more natural with the, I think I'm gonna put it on this side. Oh no, the brush definitely intensifies it a little more. Put it like all over my skin so I could glow from within. Honestly, this collection, other than the eyeliners, I'm not the big fan of the liquid liners. I feel like they're too thick and you have to really shake them a lot because when I first got it yesterday, I, I opened it and I swatched the red one and it was very watery and I was like, what the hell is happening? And I had to shake it and shake it and today they do look more opaque. They look more opaque, but you can't go over it or it's not seamless. So I don't love the eyeliners. I love the highlighters. I love the palette. The last thing that I have to show you is the Soul Body Care. Let's finish off with the Soul Body Care, put on a lip, and we're all done. The last item of the collection is the Soul Body Oil. This is a dry oil. It's supposed to be like diamonds. It's like diamonds. This is supposed to represent Edward's skin. Apparently, the director of this makeup production actually analyzed the scene of where he says, this is the skin of a killer, Bella. This is the skin of a killer, Bella. And she actually went through and put every single color in this dry oil. I did take off my shirt, but I will put it back on. I just wanna show you how it looks and I'm just trying to shake it. Um, I do see a lot of iridescent. Do you think that this could have been a little more gray tone silver? It is a little bit warm in my opinion. Not as warm as other, like this is the Laura Lee Los Angeles. Like this is like more of a goldy color. This one is white. It has purple, green, blue, pink shimmers to it. So I hope it looks good. Uh -huh. Okay, and then oh my goodness wait Holy moly, it smells so much like coconut like coconut and It's very fruity kind of like passion fruit and pineapple Man, I feel like they're missing a blotted red liquid lip because with this and then you can put a blood red and liquid lip like your lip is bleeding. Like it would have been so cool because you could have actually looked like freaking Edward with his skin and then him drinking blood. They missed the mark in the lip oils, honestly. I think the palette, the I think they were just missing the mark on the lip oils and I feel like this collection could have been overboard. And I think it's because of that disappointment with the first picture. It looked like a liquid lip and then you went into this lip oil. I think that's why people were mad. I feel like it was very deceiving and because of that, that's why I think that people were mad at the, the red choices. Um, but this is pretty. How it leaves the skin. It did leave it super shiny. Look at that shine. Ooh, it do shine like diamonds. Do you see that glow? Oh. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this Glam Light lip liner with the Ghost Face Collection. This was the dark one, the black with the nude lip. Because I do want a kind of a dark liner. I do want to use the dark um, Edward shade, the bluey shade, because I feel like I have a blue look, so I want to use the bluey shade. I'm just gonna warm this up with the NYX liner, the NYX Matte Slate liner in Downtown Beauty. Oh my goodness, I could see so many. I don't think it catches, but there is so many sparkles on my neck right now. So much sparkles on my neck. That literally does look like Edward skin. They nailed it with that body oil. That body oil looks like Edward skin. I do think that they could have put a lip liner in this collection and it would have been a lot better. Dark brown, dark black. And then I'm just using the Edward one, Team Edward, because we're always going to be Team Edward here in this household, no matter what. 
do like this color like what's it's mixing together really do like it okay and this is the finished look Okay, so this is the finished look. What do you think? Let me know everything you think down below in the comments. I know I talked a lot, but I feel like I had to give my thoughts. But I love this collection. I really, really do. It's very grungy, very early 2000s, 2008, where like 2008, 2010s, where we were all in our emo stages, honestly. I mean, that movie brought out one of the best soundtracks, in my opinion. I used to have that cd play on repeat when i got my first car in 2012 i would literally be on repeat in my car as well and yeah it was just i love this collection i think they did so good on the unicartons for everything i do feel like they could have branded a little bit more on the product specifically um for these and they could have had different colors on these i do feel underwhelmed with the lip oils i feel like it was the wrong decision to go with the lip oils even now you can't even tell that it's blue on my skin tone so on darker skin tones you're not going to be able to tell the colors on lighter skin tones it's going to look like they're dead my skin tone it just looks like a gloss and whatever i'm going to put over it it just gives like a little hint of that color but that's basically it the eyeliners are underwhelming i wish they would have done the gel cream liners the eyeshadow palette and the highlighters are honestly amazing these highlighters even though it has a gray cast i don't think it looks that bad on me and the pink one too the pink purpley one is beautiful this is so shimmery it does look like diamonds like when when he's like this is the skin of a killer and then she's like it's beautiful it's like diamonds it's literally what i think like it's honestly beautiful i do think it's like diamonds i think they nailed that part and i do think they nailed the color story in my opinion this is a beautiful palette it represents twilight perfectly the lion and the lamb they fall in love together in that meadow scene this is specifically of everything every color that you see the meadow scene you see this very pretty lilac purple with a bunch of sparkles in it because of all the flowers around them they're dressed in all light blue colors they fall in love in the meadow and then there's a bunch of greenery and and you know the dirt all around them i think this this to me is twilight and i love this love it i love it thank you so much for coming my name is Sally. if you haven't been here welcome please consider subscribing i do have a lot of makeup videos i'm planning to do more in the future so i do have a lot of makeup videos i have a lot of clothing hauls on this channel if you do like those types of videos please consider subscribing like the video before you leave click the little notification bell and yeah <sighs> my 17 year old self is so happy right now like so happy and i like this look and i'm really sad that it's like 10 o'clock and i don't i don't have anywhere to go i i need, I need to take this off i do like this look it's very grungy and it, it's it's on Honestly, me like I love these grungy types of looks I really do thank you so much for coming I'll see you guys in the next video bye